Hello everyone, your favorite YouTuber, The Monotone Gamer, has finally decided to make a video. So today we are in the obvious spot of the Portal Hub, because you can't do adventuring without the Portal Hub. Well, without portals, you know what I mean. So anyway, let me actually check what dust I need if I can navigate these things. So we need air dust, let's go to the air world, Ubernon Air. I haven't actually adventured since the improvements update, which is weird, because normally I do at least some stuff, even if it's not a lot, I'll usually do some adventuring. But some things that I know that they changed is the fact that Cursed Skulls, at least kill 30 enemies, actually spawn 10 enemies instead of 5. I think it was 5, but anyway, uh, if that's the case, that's really good. Because, you know, obviously, even if you are being affected by lag, it's not going to be that bad. So, hopefully we can test it. I don't think I've actually experienced that yet. Okay, kill him. Forgot how fast I could actually kill stuff in here. Do I actually... Let me, let me take a check. Let me take a check, yeah. So we do have patron. I don't know for how long, anyway. <clears throat> So let's see if this dungeon over here is a kill 30 enemy. If it's not, then oh well. Man, it's just... yeah. <laughs> I like how I get sidetracked for this dungeon because it's technically closer. I do have some flux. Let me actually buy some bombs. So we can go uh, bomb some Dodongos. Uh, hmm. Some people sell so many bombs, you know, it's like, I don't want to buy that many bombs. I want to buy just a couple of them. But whatever. I've actually been doing a, a little bit of the uh, bee dragon farming. Not that much because, you know, to be honest, I, well, I do care, but it's like, I'm not going to get it. You know, I'm not, I know I'm not going to get it. So yeah, this is Cursed Skulls. Let's see. Oh, come on. It's this. Actually, oh no, hmm. Well, that one's only 10, so I kind of expected that one to, you know, launch out the enemies. The same as the Kill 30 enemies does, like the normal one. But, whatever, I guess that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I guess it feels good to adventure again. It's been so long, though. It's probably not been that long, but I, I don't know. It just feels like it has... Oh, there's a radiant. Let me let me see something. Uh, I don't actually have the right stuff on. I don't need zealous. I'm actually scared to change this because I know it's gonna crash the game if I do. <clears throat> um, don't need sure strike because I have 101 crit hit. What could I use? I mean, there's really nothing. Well, unyielding. What am I thinking? <laughs> I'm not used to adventuring, so I don't even remember like my setup. Not that there's really a setup, it's just put this on, put this on, you know, it's not some hardcore stuff. Because I can't, you know, I can't do those kinds of things. I can't be hardcore. That's why I played Trove, because Trove is, you know, to an extent, you don't need to do anything, you know, you just, an idiot can play it. You know, if I can play it and get to the end game, then you know it's idiot proof. It's Joe proof, essentially. So yeah, look at this. You know, there's only going to be three, like, three waves of these guys, because 30 of them come out. We actually killed 39, which is, <laughs> I think that's the highest I've actually seen getting killed. That was funny. But yeah, those are a lot faster, so those are actually, I guess, viable to do. Because, you know, a lot faster. So yeah, that's nice. These ones I would always kind of avoid, just because, you know, even... It was just bad, obviously. I don't know why I'm trying to explain why it's bad, like, as if no one else has liked and experienced it, but whatever. Let's go over here. So, uh, I, I don't know what the devs did with the map. You know, everything's so small, but if you zoom in, everything is like... I mean, this would be okay if the name wasn't super gigantic. I don't know why the name is like that, but it is what it is, I guess. So there is a dungeon down there. I'm not going to focus it. I'm going to go to this one. Let me... Uh, wrong button. Let me pull up my menu and use keys on this. Because I need... 
I just need water gem dust, so I don't care what I use my gem, uh, keys on. To be honest, I didn't even know that I had keys. I only had four, but I don't even know where I got them. Wait, was there... Yeah, oh, <laughs> apparently there's a boss there. Wait. Okay, that guy was big. I thought it was a boss. He probably wasn't. I just, uh, you know, went by him, but... I have my uh, auto loot thing, so it only picks up shadows and above. Hopefully, you know, the, there's... I guess there's no reason to not pick up all the pieces of gear, but it's like, I don't know, you know, because the more gear, you know, even if it's like relics, I think the red ones are relics or the orange ones, I don't know, but even if you pick up a relic, it still flux, you know, even if it's not that much, it's still flux, I guess, so you might as well pick it up. Okay, let, let us see our spoils, spoils of war. Get away. Thank you. Do I have a, a gem bench in here or a bench I can craft? Yes, I do. Okay, how much? Five. Nice. How many, I mean? <laughs> uh, here's the bench. So, I'm so close. We have, like, let's see. We have, I think these three gems. Yeah, these three gems are maxed out. This gem, this gem, this gem. And these are the only three gems that I need to max out, which is not bad at all. So let us do this, just because it's so close. Ooh, this one only needs like two more, I would think. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. So let's see if there's, like, if there's any big da- not big, but can you notice that I'm doing more damage? I, I wasn't even paying attention to how much damage I was doing prior. <clears throat> but I would assume it's a lot. 30 mil? I mean... There's probably people that can do like 45 mil or something without a pot. I don't know, but that's good for me. You know, good for adventuring, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, it's so much nicer because like I said, even if you do leg, 10 of them spawn. So at least it's not five leg, five leg, five leg. It's 10 leg, 10 leg. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid and gibberish, but... It's just, even if you lag, you don't have to experience as much. It's a lot quicker. But you already knew that, so I don't need to explain myself as if you're stupid. Because if everything, like anything, I mean, I'm the stupid one and you're all the smart ones. But who cares, like I just said. So, yeah, today is a you know, pretty normal average day. You know, nothing has really happened. What is over here? Uh, oh, <laughs> sound right here, but yeah, pretty normal, pretty standard, you know, nothing has really happened. I mean, Luxian has showed up, you know, we have this, which to be honest looks ugly. <laughs> it's a fledgling, so what do you expect? But, I don't know, it, it, uh, it'll be cool when we actually get the stats, that's for sure, because... The dragon is a little under 400. I only say that because we got five souls for free. So it's like three whatever. Three three whatever coins. That's a number. New number. But yeah, we just want the stats. I don't even know how many people are going to use the dragon. The dragon's V effects, like the legendary one, they're, they're over the top, dude. They're like so many V effects. Like so many. It's got so many sparklies. All the sparklies. So many sparklies that you don't know what to do with. But yeah, I'll probably use it when we actually get it in about, uh, I don't know, two months, two, what was it, three and a half months, two months, I, I don't know. But I'll, I'll use it just to see what it's like, I guess. <laughs> like all dragons, you know? But those stats, though, it actually gives 100 magic find, which isn't the first time a dragon is given 100 magic find. Uh, Ludini, or whatever the block dragon's name is, actually does give you magic find, 100 of it. But that's because you needed, like, what, five of its eggs or four? Which, I mean, it makes sense, I, I guess, in the roleplay, because it's a Lego dragon and you're using all those eggs to build the Lego dragon, I, I guess. I guess that's what the devs tried to go for with that dragon. I, I don't know, that's just what I like to think that they did. Let me actually go to uh, this one. Just because, you know, just, just because... <laughs> I'm not even using flasks that much anyway. 
I mean, I almost do max damage numbers with that. I'm surprised, but that was like, what, 98 mil, 96 mil? I couldn't really see that. Kind of sitting really far back from my monitor. A lot further back than I normally sit. Hmm. Was that, yeah, 18 mil punch? Is that, uh, let me see. I don't know, like, does your uppercut do more damage than your actual punches, or are they the same damage, like, numbers? I don't know. And, bam. 38 mil, that's not, that, that's not bad, you know. The Vanguard seems like he might not do, like, you know, keep up with all the other classes at Gunslinger, but he does good damage in bursts, like his right click doing 38 mil, his right click doing, you know, my right click doing almost max damage in the game. Well, max visual cam, not max damage in the game, because no, I'm not going to get that high. But, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Everything's cool. It's just you gotta end it with, yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> and we're all good. I like how sometimes I don't even need to use a flask. That's my favorite part. You know, you don't even need to use a flask. You just go out there and right click <clears throat> and they die. And my throat's getting bad like it always does. For some reason, I don't know why. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure I do know why. It's just water. It's always water. It's like, I have a full thing of water next to me at all times. It's like, I don't drink it. It's like, Joe, drink the freaking water. You know, you need water. Do it. But it's like, nyeh, nyeh. I don't want to drink the water. I mean, I do, but it's like, eh. At the same time, I don't. <clears throat> yeah, but I guess adventuring feels nice. Uh, what's my... Uh, Opening every single menu. What's my gem dust like? Let me see. Um, air dust is going to be fine for a little bit. You know, not that much. I don't know where I'm getting bound brilliance. I know the leaderboard has like bound brilliance, but I don't know. Like, it, it just seems weird. It doesn't feel like I'm like I'm getting more than it feels like I should be getting. Can we need more water dust? We'll be able to make like uh, three more of those things. At least we'll be able to max out the stat, if anything. But yeah, I should have had my gems maxed out long before. It's just, I, I, I don't know, I'm not in the mood for grinding. It's like, there's no point. I mean, obviously there is a point to upgrade, like, the stats, but... Again, <laughs> I guess there really is no point, because it's like... Th there's no point for me to be getting stronger, even when Uber 10 comes out. What's the probability that we're going to be one-shotting things already? If anything, we're probably going to be, like, two or three-shotting things. It's like, oh, okay, you know? Like, Vanguard, you know, I'll just use a pie, and I'll be like, one, two, three. It's like, if it is three-shot, then there. It's like, I can do three uh, lasers before the thing is on, like, not cooldown, but it's like, before I have no energy. <clears throat> you know it's going to be something like that. It's like... Haha, -ha, guys, you, you thought you were going to kill them in only one hit? No, you were wrong. It's going to take two hits. Haha, -ha, we're so smart. I don't know, though. It, it's just that it, it seems way too underwhelming, you know, being able to one-shot stuff. But I guess that's the price you pay for being too strong, right? Haha. <laughs> I don't know, though. It, it feels like the devs are kind of underestimating how strong we are. Like, how strong the devs are making us, like... How strong we can get with the augments and all that. Even with all the augments, we could, you know, we could get strong. It was just more RNG. Like, if you... It would just be more, like, RNG if you were stronger or not, if that makes any sense. But, and then they plan to make us even stronger. Like, I, I don't know. Like, uh, hopefully they make, like, a new Shadow Tower difficulty or just move Uber 9, like, Ultra Uber 9 to Uber 10. I, I don't know what they're going to do, but... The devs even said they want it so uh, we cannot solo stuff anymore. They want Ultras to feel like an actual group experience or whatever they said. And I kind of agree. It's like, you can't always solo stuff. It's like, yeah, in these kinds of games, your objective is to get stronger. Like, I'm not going to deny that. But it's like, when you're able to, like, solo these things, I don't know. It's like, you want to get stronger, but you don't want to get too strong, if that makes any sense. There's other stuff, I guess, to work uh, work for. I don't know. Just me being stupid, I guess. 
But yeah, hopefully Uber 10 is something new, not just normal adventuring. Like, uh, they said that Uber 10 would be something completely new, you know, different from Uber 9. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be the case. They probably went back on that and just said, you know what? Normal adventuring, because why not? But hopefully there's, like, raids and stuff. I, I don't know. Raids might be expecting too much, to be honest. I'm not... I'm not trying to, you know, expect nothing from this update, like, oh, Uber 10's just gonna be a bust, it's just, raids, I, I don't know, like, <laughs> there ha there's, do people count uh, rampages as raids? I, I don't know, I guess, but whatever. Like, what if Uber 10 was just, like, rampage bosses, like, there was no uh, normal dungeons, you would go into... Uh, Uber 10, and it would be like a flat area or something, you know, not not flat, but you know what I mean, like just a big area, and then just bosses would spawn, or if you went through dungeons, you couldn't, like, it would actually force you to go through the dungeon, like, you couldn't bomb it, and when you got to the end, it was just like this giant rampage-sized boss, I don't know, like, something that would seem cool, you know, something... Like, in adventuring, if you actually had to group up with people, if that, made, if that makes any sense. I know some people wouldn't really care about that, but I care. And that's all that matters. But anyway, I'm looking at the time, 16 minutes, that seems good. Trying to, <laughs> trying to make these shorter, actually, but I keep on rambling and they keep on <clears throat> showing up longer. Not showing up, but you know what I mean. So, the Headless Vanguard is going to sit up here, and we're just going to perch. I, I should actually change my uh, fist style. <laughs> it doesn't match this at all. There is a fist style. Not going to procrastinate anymore, though. But <laughs> yeah, I, knew, I know you thought I was going to, but yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next episode, and goodbye.